Hi, my name is Noah Eisenberg. And I'm a film scholar at the New School. I'm talking to you today from the Quad Cinema in Greenwich Village for Cohen Media Channel. The film that I'm introducing is a film from 1939 directed by Alfred Hitchcock, Jamaica Inn. It was produced by Erich Palmer, uh, one of the greatest directors from the 1920s in Weimar Germany. He was once head of production at Ufa Studios. And it was made in collaboration, if you could call it that, with Charles Lawton. Lawton really took the upper hand in this production, and Hitchcock, as a result, was not particularly pleased with the result. Although certainly not the best-known picture directed by Alfred Hitchcock, the film is remarkable in, in other uh, respects, in particular for uh, the performance by Charles Lawton. And also, you might even say, for Lawton's control that he held over the, uh, over the production. Uh, the influence that Lawton had, um, the sparring between him and, and, and Hitchcock. When I see Charles Lawton in this picture, I think of another great British-born actor who also fills out the frame, and that would be Sidney Greenstreet, the fat man and the Maltese Falcon and, and a number of other pictures that he made in Hollywood. And here, Lawton, his performance for a, a, a British production, this is one of Hitchcock's British productions, is, is really quite striking. This scene, for instance, with the young Maureen O'Hara. This is her first major role. She's a mere 18 years old. And her name alone, O'Hara, is a name that Lawton provided to, 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 to her. Uh, she was born Fitzsimmons. She's, she's then christened O'Hara on this, on this production. But the scene that I'm thinking of in particular, it comes late in the film, the third act, when, when uh, uh, Sir Humphrey takes, takes Mary, the uh, young Irish woman who is brought into the cabin, I think it is, on the ship, the cabin that, 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 that Sir Humphrey occupies, and he gags uh, uh, Maureen O'Hara. He gags, and it is, a, it is a scene that is suggestive of rape and murder, and it is a very creepy, very, very haunting scene in this film. From the very first moment that Maureen O'Hara appears on screen as Mary, uh, she really commands the attention that Hitchcock lavishes upon her. Um, and her performance is, is, is really uh, far more mature than, than, than the mere 18 years of age that she was in this film. Charles Lawton, his performance as well, as, as, uh, as I'd like to emphasize, is, is one that's rather unforgettable, not only for its creepiness, but also just for his delivery of his lines, uh, for the ways in which he comports himself. There are a number of scenes that seem almost strangely clumsy, especially for a Hitchcock production, um, and some of the other acting in the film, much of it done by British theater actors, appears vaguely wooden, you might say. Lawton, however, together with Maureen O'Hara, they really ride this film to its end, uh, and they are the two stars that we remember most. Although Jamaica Inn was widely dismissed, if not derided, by critics when it was released in 1939, it did surprisingly well at the box office. Perhaps this can be attributed to the writer, Daphne de Moray, who provided the story for this film, as she did for Hitchcock's Rebecca and the Birds. I hope you enjoy the show.